Tango phone, the Asus Zenfone AR will go on sale this summer. Now, looking at the slides, you may notice a trend. The devices are getting smaller, and you can imagine far more devices having this capability in the future. It's been awesome to see what developers have done with the technology. And one thing we've seen clearly is that AR is most powerful when it's tightly coupled to the real world, and the more precisely, the better. That's why we've been working with the Google Maps team on a service that can give devices access to very precise location information indoors. It's kind of like GPS, but instead of talking to satellites to figure out where it is, your phone looks for distinct visual features in the environment and it triangulates with those. So you have GPS, we call this VPS, Google's Visual Positioning Service. And we think it's gonna be incredibly useful in a whole bunch of places. For example, imagine you're at Lowe's, a home improvement store that has basically everything. And if you've been there, you know it's really big. And we've all had that moment when you're struggling to find that one weird random screwdriver thing. Well, imagine in the future, your phone could just take you to that exact screwdriver and point it out to you on the shelf. Turns out we can do this with VPS. Let me show you how. And this is working today. So here we are walking down an aisle at Lowe's, and the phone will find these key visual feature points, as you can see there in yellow. By comparing the feature points against previously observed ones, those colorful dots in the back, the phone can figure out exactly where it is in space down to within a few centimeters. So GPS can get you to the door, and then VPS can get you to the exact item that you're looking for. Further out, Further out, imagine what this technology could mean to people with impaired vision, for example. VPS and an audio-based interface could transform how they make their way through the world. And it combines so many things that Google is good at. Mapping, computer vision, distributed computing. And we think precise location will be critical for camera-based interfaces. 